Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I am going to add this power up uh, animation and actually this power up means the enabling rage. Like this when I press R, rage mode is enabled and that animation and adding effects so that's the part i'm going to do today like this and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so for the power of animation i'm going to use this one uh, power up O oh, enable rage and so for that this is that animation and I'll create a animation montage and so while I play this montage I'm gonna spawn another particle effect and that is uh, from an infinity blade effects it should be under uh, the something fire yeah this one so this animation uh, sorry this particle and this uh, animation montage So when I do this, I need this. I need to disable movements for this character. So therefore, I'll add a notifier here, just like we did before. Enable, sorry, enable movement should be at the end, and first disable movement like this okay now i'll open my character blueprint ch human and this is where i enable rage or toggle rage so when i toggle rage it's here I'll play animation montage and select that montage like this and also I need to spawn that uh, effect particle effect this one and I can play that here just like this play with play particle effect or I can play it here but I'm going to play it here because uh, let's say that I as I do customizations to this character I need to be able to change this particle effect but if I do that here, then I do I can't do that. So therefore, I'll play that particle effect here. Emitter attached like this, <coughs> and the template is this one. An attached component I'll give the capsule I'll snap to target okay that should be all I have to do let's see let's check Okay, 
right. Uh, I think uh, it would look better if I play the particle effect a little after when I expand my hands in the character. So therefore, I'll do it like this. The animation that happens like 0.7 seconds after this so I'll add a delay of 0.7 seconds like of course I could use a montage notifier as well but let's not make it too complicated And also I need some sound for I'll play that sound here play sound at location and I'll give the location as the current actor location I can get it like this uh, get get actor location and for the sound I'll use this one and also I need this character to shout so for shouting I have implemented this method called play vocal mm, so I'll play that Where is it? Play vocal and it should be a shout and I have already I already have this vocal shout effect I'll play that like this Now that should be all Let's see Let's build some rage I was a little bit late. Let's uh, rage again. Yeah, that's what I want. And in the upcoming episodes, uh, I'm going to add in the next episode, I'm going to add some attack like knocking back of all surrounding enemies so for example when I enable rage so all the animations around my character will be knocked back uh, with some impact and that's the next thing I'm going to do in this series and uh, I'll upload the project files updates to my patreon page and also if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club and depending on the membership you will have different privileges uh, according to these tier descriptions and see you in the next episode goodbye